This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Life comes with a lot of decisions, and sometimes it's hard to know which path is right. Therapy gives you a place to map out your options so you can trust your choices and get excited about the future. Visit BetterHelp.com allies to give it a try. Hello, welcome to the Easy Allies podcast. I'm Daniel Bloodworth coming to you from Los Angeles, California. This week I'm joined by Brad Ellis. Hello. Michael Huber. Yo. Michael Damiani. How's it going? And Isla Hink. Hi. Also a robot today because uh, not feeling too well this morning. <laughs> yeah. Now it's mostly to keep you all from getting sick, but I did wake up with a migraine, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, at least since I'll be going to the airport in a few hours <laughs> tomorrow morning. Oh, you're leaving today? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, and then making it all happen in the control room, running around ep- editing episodes in between, Don Casanova. Hello. Overseen by <laughs> Gabby. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, this week, it is our love and respect Special episode. Uh, we're recording these early, so there are no headlines, there are no corrections, just lots of questions, lots of games, and lots of comments from our community. It is time for love and respect. Love, love and respect. respect. I couldn't. Right. Yeah, I can never hear it. Don't worry. Discord. Ella. Discord blocks it out. Okay. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> oh, so sure. I just yeah, yeah. Don't do anything. It thinks yeah. it's a noise. The yeah. background noise. Discord. You're too smart, Discord. <laughs> Starting it off from Kristen G. Rosario. Season's greetings, allies. Uh, depending on when this gets read, I should be enjoying my annual trip to Holiday Matsuri. Uh, for those unaware, a Christmas themed anime convention. Sick. As I sit here enjoying my time away from home, I think about one of the reasons as to why Christmas is my favorite time of year. You think we'd be receiving presents, but in actuality, I love giving them. Mm -hmm. Uh, To make a long story short, one of the things I love doing in my life is making the people I care about happy. It brings me such joy to see the joy I bring to others. One way I've shown that is with gifts I've given over the years and the many happy tears I've received from friends and family. So my question is this. What is the most memorable gaming-related gift you have given to someone. doesn't have to be Christmas-related, just a present you have given to a friend, family member, or loved one that you still remember to this day. Uh, one for me that always comes to mind is getting my dad the limited edition Uncharted 4 <laughs> PS4 bundle for Father's Day years back. It was the first time I had ever seen him cry tears of joy for something related to video games. Hope you all have a Aww. safe holiday break. Uh, about my bro Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. That was sick. Yeah, I gave my friend Steven for his birthday uh, Star Ocean. Dumb, you know. I think it's the third one till the end of time. Hmm. The PS2 yeah. game. Yeah. Either of you got anything? I'm trying to think. I I've definitely bought a lot of games for a lot of people. Like, I bought my ex Roller Coaster Tycoon when we were, like, apart for a holiday, and she was, like, at home and sad, and she was like, I miss Roller Coaster Tycoon, and then I, like, sent it to her on Steam, and she was like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I know I've gotten my sister, like, all kinds of stuff, but I can't think of anything specifically right now. I bought somebody Animal Crossing. Oh, I know the best one. Uh, we were at E3, and I was talk. This was in an episode of Mandatory Update, I think, or Easy Update. Uh, we were at E3, and we were talking with uh, some fans, and they hadn't played Zelda Breath of the Wild, so I just took it out of my Switch and gave it to them. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> And then later I wanted to play it, and I was like, oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. 
Got any? You got anything? I am drawing a blank. Uh, most people I know already like buy their own games, so like right. I generally have never had to buy anyone games. Um, so yeah, sorry, I don't have anything interesting. Like maybe five minutes after this question, something will pop into mind. I got visual, something gaming sorry. related from yeah. Damiani. He gave me his Zelda Christmas ornament. Oh, nice. The one with Link and it plays the Zelda one song. There we go. Oh yeah. yeah. It's on my tree right now. Yeah. Sick. It's not a, okay, if it's not game stuff, like an actual video game, then the best no, thing I ever anything. did was, yeah. Oh, I mean, because E3 is gone. I don't give a shit anymore. Uh, I got a bunch of people in the E3 th- 2006 for my first time ever to go because nice. I had a I had my own website and they let me get like 10 people in. I was like, cool. Who wants to go? And, like, <laughs> people, like, like friends and stuff were like, yo, what? And I was like, dude, they were like so happy. They were like, like I had two friends fly in from like halfway across the country. They're like, yo, this is like the best thing ever. And I was like, yeah. And it was like, I haven't been either. This is going to be great. And I was like, this is awesome. I love and how I remember, you've been holding on to that news like E3 was going to like persecute. Exactly. <laughs> like they're going to like write my name down like, oh, don't let that guy come back to E3 again because we're petty. <laughs> <laughs> um, rip to E3, by the way. Rip. Yeah, I definitely had, have yeah bought some games or whatever for, um, for my brother or for for my for my wife, um, especially when like DS like some mm. Lost in Blue and stuff like that. The one that sticks out to me, and I know I've told this story before for people that listen to every episode, but uh, is uh, I had uh, I have a friend who uh, collects a lot of uh, GBAs and N64 controllers and stuff like that. And I had won this very limited edition, uh, it was called like Millennium 2000 N64 controller Whoa. from Nintendo Power that was like silver with black buttons. Uh, and wow. and I knew that like there's probably not an easy way to get one of those. So I, I gave him that controller for his birthday nice. to add to his awesome. collection. That's a good gift. From Lil G, baby. Hey, allies. Uh, No question here, but with the announcement of Brad leaving, it really got me thinking about my journey with the allies. Since I first started listening to EZA in 2017, I've moved and changed jobs multiple times, had a baby girl, and we've got one more on the way. Nice. I just want to say thank you for all you do, bringing not just entertainment but joy to my life over these years. And in some ways, you've been a part of each major change in my life. I've got less time for games, but I always find time to listen and watch as much Easy A content as possible. Brad, I appreciate your view and take on games. Your humor, banter, and honesty about the video games industry always hits home. When you speak with the rest of the allies, it simply feels like old friends gathering to hang and talk about their favorite games. Cozy and genuine. Thank you for all you've done, and I wish the best in whatever life has for you next. Massive love and huge respect. Damn, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching us for so long. Congrats <laughs> on the kids, too, by the way. That's awesome. Yeah. But thank you. From Mark Gecko. Hey, allies. I wish you all happy holidays, but after that, it's almost 2024. Ooh. What are the games you're looking forward to the most next year? <laughs> really sad to see Brad will be gone, but I wish him all the best. Thank you. Uh, it's rebirth for many of us, I'm sure. <laughs> Damiani, absolutely. Yeah. Huber, is that you number one for you right now? Yeah. That you can think of? Hellblade? Hellblade, rebirth, though, number one by far. <laughs> Hell it's yeah. It's an event. Yeah, it is. Be there. Yeah. Don't miss it. Yeah, it's not even close, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of re's in February. The uh, reload, Persona 3 reload. Yeah. Yeah. Three also another big there. one it's up there um now i can talk about it after having played like almost three and a half hours of that prince of persia the lost crown yeah it's mm-hmm. pretty pretty good yeah dude. um also coming out next year <laughs> so they announced a demo for that it's pretty cool um oh, uh, silk like song there's... as well <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh I, I if it happens let's go I mean, that's pretty. It's gotta sick. be next year, Dami. Um, Huber, if you're, yeah, a, if you're waiting for a Silk Song, you need to play that Prince of Persia. I played it. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, what about a 
the Black Myth that was got a release date, Wukong. right? Uh, yeah, Black Myth Wukong. Yeah. yeah. Part of me just was waiting for like the rug to be pulled out from under that game or something. Like, yeah, it, like looks too good or something. <laughs> sure. And you play it, it's like, oh, it's not that good. What the hell? There's a potential for that. Yeah. Oh. uh yeah. Uh, Dawn Trail expansion, fourteen expansion. Jesus. Oh yeah, I'll be there, baby. See you there on that island, Damiani. What really hooked on Stormgate as well. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. Stormgate. Mm -hmm. Metaphor. Refantasio, of course. Yeah. Mike's favorite name. Oh. <laughs> Yo, what's the? Uh, do we think Outlaws is definitely next year or no? I think so. Yeah, I think it is. <sighs> I don't know if it's definitely next year. I don't know about it's that. It's supposed to be next year, I but think, it's I know. who could who, who knows. I think they're going to shoot for next year and delay it to March. Hmm. Uh, right next to I mean, Auto. Dragon's Dogma 2, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Dogma 2 or D2. <laughs> Dragon's Dogma there. 2, baby. Also, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, hmm. and also uh, the Elden Ring DLC, mm -hmm. yeah. also Pacific oh, yeah. Drive. Mm -hmm. Pacific Drive. <laughs> um, yeah. Yo, Silk Song's coming out before Bloodlines too. Hmm. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, I was maybe. wondering about Bloodlines. Maybe. Like, you might. Is <laughs> well, <sighs> like the stuff that Chinese Room has been showing is looking like. An actual game, almost, yeah. Yeah. Uh, w which is promising for your uh, <laughs> Vampire: The Masquerade Bloodlines twos. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's 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 moving in a positive direction anyway. Yes. <laughs> oh, I got one. The next 3D Mario on Switch two Ooh. that's gonna be out on, on launch day. <laughs> uh, so ones that you guys didn't hit yet that I got, Baby Steps. Oh, baby steps. <laughs> Man. Yeah, that's oh, going to be Oh, is that fun. that wonky dude walking around? The guy game? walking around yeah. and like, uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And narrating himself the yeah. whole time. And that's fun. <laughs> yeah. Big walk. Uh, similar vibe. Looks cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that one might not be next year, though. Yeah, it might um, not be, actually. Uh, no Rest for the Wicked that mm -hmm. Moon Studios is doing. Yeah, it looks really good. Uh, really good. Visions of Mana. Yeah, like really, really good. good. Really higher good. budget. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, put, put looks some awesome. Money into that one, and uh, the Plucky Squire, yes. yeah, dude. which was oh, yeah. going to come out this year, got yes. delayed, so it should be out next year for Get sure. Get it out, yeah, please. If you're not, if what's you that, that other one? one that... The what was that other one that was announced a hundred years ago? That Silk Song. Kind of a similar. No, <laughs> little. Uh, ugh, I can't remember what it's called. Never mind. Engine that could. No, you know, them. you would know, but whatever. Move on. All right. Oh, we'll move uh, on. Lost Records as well. That is absolutely oh, one yeah. of my most anticipated of the yeah. year. I cannot wait. Yeah, it looks good. Yes. From Hidelcius. Hey, allies. Two years ago, Jones read my submission where he talked about and celebrated the 20th anniversary of the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Rings. Sick. Last year on Frame Trap, I had Brad and Damiani gush about the two towers to celebrate its 20th anniversary. Sick. So now I'm here to celebrate with you the 20th anniversary of Return of the King. Mm. First released on December 17th, 2023, just three days from when we're recording <sighs> this. Uh, King was truly a cinema defining moment for the ages, and Peter Jackson and crew did not <sighs> hold back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Earlier this year, my wife and I were able to see the extended version in theaters, with this being my wife's first time seeing any of them on the big screen. Wow. So, what an event. The experience made me feel like my 14-year-old self being absolutely blown away all over again. Here are some of my highlights from the film. Mm. The first shot of Minas Tirith with Gandalf mm. and Pippin. Yeah. Frodo, Sam, and Gollum climbing the stairs of Kirith Ungol, mm -hmm. while hundreds of thousands of orcs and trolls pour out of Minas Morgul. The lighting of the beacons. <laughs> the beacons are lit! Yeah. The Light. army of the right. dead. The army of the dead, sure. <laughs> the battle of Minas Tirith and the battle of the Pelennor Fields. Shelob. Ooh. Sam defeating Shelob. Mm -hmm. The mouth of Sauron. 
<laughs> Sorry, Huber, but Brad was right. No. No. <laughs> Incorrect. Always right. No. Nope. Another Brad was right. No. The final battle at the Black Gates, the destruction of the ring, mm-hmm. everyone bowing to the hobbits, Frodo saying goodbye yeah. to his friends, yeah. Sam saying the last line in the book. So basically the whole movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, <laughs> yeah. This trilogy will stand the test of time and has already aged gracefully, much like the original Star Wars trilogy has. Thank you for another great year. Here's to an exciting 2024 where I'll be soaking in whatever easy A content I can while taking care of my newborn son coming at the end of February. Merry Christmas and may the holidays be filled with jolly vibes and bonds. Wow, thank you. Hell yeah. Yeah, congrats on the child. End of February, babies. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. The funniest thing about... Best the funniest picture. thing about the Huber Brad argument is that it's just Huber's opinion. It's not yeah. something yeah. that yeah, you can yeah. be wrong or right about. It's just what Huber mm. thinks, and yet yeah. it, it spawned this but like everyone can disagree. Tirade. Everyone has an opinion on that because it's so <laughs> such a legendary movie. Mm-hmm. Like that movie means so much to so many people. So you gotta you gotta respect it. Gotta respect those My opinions. Internet broke it seems. <laughs> You're here. Did it? I don't think it did. If you're, st- well, maybe oh, she's not right. seeing us, but we're seeing her. It froze <laughs> on my end, but here I am. I'm back. Okay, dude. Uh, well, when the Theoden, does Theoden speech, King. I know Theoden King. No shot out runs, there. I'm bummed. His sword along everyone's spear, dude. Right now, no right Theoden. Now! Yeah, no Theoden King shout out. Jeez. It would take three hours to shout out the whole movie, though. Yeah. <laughs> The Huber, the thing for me, it's particularly with these, oh, the, no. the, the bittersweet memories, the arc light. Dude. Oh, the arc light. The arc light going to those oh, at the arc light oh. when they've got like all of the like props, the props and like the costumes. The costumes and stuff and the, like the little glass cases that That's you could sick. like check out all the details and Perfect stuff. Perfect audio and visual quality with no one saying a single solitary word yeah. enjoying the movie. Yeah. <laughs> the best. They also had, the, they had a, uh, to the run up to Return of the King, they showed the first oh, two. Oh, the first two? You could yeah. go yes, there yeah. and watch them there. I can't remember if they had extended or not. I think they might have actually been the extended editions. So, yeah, usually the re releases now in the theaters are. But this, yeah, just, but this usually, was like yeah. leading up to Return of the King. They must have just so, came yeah. out or something. Yeah. Sick. Or one of them. So, really awesome to see those there. Out of control. 10 right. out of 10. Let's find out if Don's paying attention. Let's play a game! Whoa! <laughs> Don's in. Wow! Thank you, Don. Don. Doing double duty! Can you imagine so, watching Lord of the Rings like 50 years from now? It's gonna be so sick. Yeah. Was that Isla? Damiani and I are slightly right of center, and it's making me crazy. <laughs> I imagine nice. how crazy you'd be going if I didn't move you slightly left before we started. I almost got there, not all the way. <laughs> but it, to, it, oh. in your defense, the 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 um, Patreon thing, mm-hmm. when it's there, it it fills the space perfectly. So maybe it was on purpose. That's true. It that. would have been it would have been overlapping. I saw that and I said, what a, what a miracle that is. But you know you know what else is going on? The yeah. entire thing is just slightly right. There's a little more left. There's room on the left here for Bloodworth. That's true. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Yo, we need that uh, Two Towers Return of the King uh, port re-release oh, remaster. Oh, no. Come on. Yeah, sure. Come on. Yeah, I'd take all of those. Oh. It's going to be a Big ass. Big but, ass yeah. for licensing, but yeah, it'd be awesome. Someone needs a license pay up. game and an EA game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Coming back from the dead. Make it e- happen, though. EA is like one step removed from WB. It's just. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Uh, from Robert Lee, here's our game Does it rumble? <laughs> oh. Ooh. This is tricky. Hey, allies. My controller feels hollow. <laughs> like an empty shell. And it's because the vibration and rumble features of modern day controllers seem to be forgotten, particularly for PC games. Mm. Controller feedback enhances the gameplay experience for me, feeling the kills, each hit, and sometimes helping with timing moves. It's time to call out these games that deliver a hollow feeling. 
Can the allies guess which PC versions of these games either do not support vibration or have minimal support that barely exists? So we're going to have... <laughs> um, oh, okay. Two, yeah, two at a time, and you'll guess which one which okay. one does not have it. The beacons are lit! Okay. Sorry. Go into a coastal raid! Darkest Dungeon or Sea of Stars? Does not have... I don't think Which darkest, one does not star, have I'll darkest say Darkest Dungeon. Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon, yeah, I guess? I'll say it. I'll go sure. Sea of Stars. Darkest Dungeon? Darkest Dungeon. Uh, no feedback for giving or receiving hits, mm. and it's disappointing. It's yeah, too, it's already too much damage, mental damage. Yeah, <laughs> I don't need I don't need the extra level of immersion. I'm <laughs> yeah, already like psyche, yeah, hit every time. Yeah, I'm already having meltdowns. Sea of Stars, <laughs> on the other hand, has great feedback. Nice, <laughs> dude. Darkest nice. Dungeon one somehow is like my second or third most played this year. So mm -hmm. What? Oh yeah, there's a ton one. of those late night streams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Pentiment or Yo. XCOM two? Pentiment, Pentiment, I guess. Like. It's all text, right? XCOM 2, maybe? Uh, oh, it's older, maybe. XCOM? XCOM 2. That's disappointing. Despite being a great game, it feels hollow when shooting or getting hit. Mm. Damn. Controller support on those XCOM games is really good, though. Like, mm -hmm. shockingly, like, playing it on console was, was pretty chill. Yeah. Well, that's what's surprising about these, is, is like, they have the rumble on console, yeah. Mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah, not yeah, on yeah. PC for... Uh, Dragon Quest Eleven or Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney? Phoenix? <laughs> Wait, I hope Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest Eleven. Did Dragon, Dragon Quest Eleven have it? It would make. Dude, what? I don't know. I'll say Phoenix Wright. It's Dragon Quest. Dude, what are they doing, man? No vibration in the PC version, and <sighs> it's a shame. Phoenix Ooh. Wright, on the other hand, does get it right. Jeez. Okay. Really need twelve. <laughs> Where is it? Chained Echoes or Warhammer 40k Dark Tide? Chained Echoes. Warhammer. I want to say Warhammer doesn't have it for some reason. I bet Dark Tide doesn't. It does not. As of July 2023, Dark Tide lacks vibration support. Damn. Which is unacceptable for a third person shooter. Yeah. Especially when you like. Dark Tide's first person. The melee hits. First person. Yeah. That's six months ago, maybe. Oh, boy, you can do either one. You can swap. Oh, yeah, you can yeah. swap. Oh, could you? Okay. You can swap. Remember. Yeah. You want to play that again? I bet it's awesome Let's revisit it. I'm down. I, I jumped back in since the patch. It, uh, like within a couple it months? It didn't grab me the way Vermintide does. Yeah, I, gra I, yeah. I launched. I jumped in the two days after the newest big, huge overhaul. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Still, I don't know. Maybe it's me, but uh, yeah. like, I love Vermintide, and Dark Tide's just... Huh. I definitely dig not, it, but something not to it. Yeah, I love the music. I like the idea of it. The vibes are super cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't something's know. Maybe off. I just need to give it more time. Yeah, like the Hobbit Part Three. Something's just off. <laughs> <laughs> Gears Tactics or Guilty Gear Strive? Oh man, uh, I hope guilty. it's not Guilty Gear, but I'm gonna say it's a Guilty Gear. gear. <laughs> I hope it's here. No, Gears, Gears Tactics. Tactic. Gears Tactics. It is Guilty Gear. Guilty oh, Gear. Believe it or not, no vibration while fighting in Guilty Gear Strive. Wow. Controller only comes to life in online lobbies when you find a competitor. Weird. Weird. That only rumbles at that, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Gears Tactics, however, seems to be made with a controller in mind, putting yes. other tactical shooters to shame. Yeah. Baldur's Gate 3 or Slay the Spire? Slay the Spire. Which Baldur's Gate got it, it's got it all. I'm going to say Baldur's Gate, dude. I don't know why. I think Baldur's, Baldur's Gate priority. Seems like such a weird inclusion that I, I guess I'll go with that. I played with a mouse and keyboard on computer. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what's tricky about a lot of these, right? Yeah. Uh, Slay the Spire, though. Mm. Oh, Larry, it's, sense. it's got it all. <laughs> Larry did a great job with his controller support, <laughs> offering brilliant rumble feedback. Slay the Spire seems like a missed opportunity. Slay the Spire, I, dude. I, I would have been so shocked hard. if Baldur's Gate didn't have it. Yeah, Slay the Spire is impossible. <laughs> Top 10 Chris games Wen, I'll never beat. Hugely good at that game. Mm. Insane. 
Desperados 3 or One Piece Odyssey? One Piece Odyssey. One Piece Odyssey. <laughs> Desperados. They sound confident. Shout out. I'll just... It's One Piece. Anime game. No vibration support on PC version, but apparently the console version of One Piece does have rumble feature, yeah. which is unacceptable uh, of truth. I think I think it did. I think basically any, any console, console game, game has yeah. rumble. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you just don't have not have it. Like, yeah. that's yeah. It's, it's so crazy. You can turn it off. Yeah. It's like a requirement. Yeah. I PC. think that they know the power of anime will sell that game, and they don't need to put in any effort, extra effort. <laughs> Yeah, this makes me wonder. Is like, is it that different to implement it from the Xbox version? That's so weird. Uh, El Paso Elsewhere, or Jagged Alliance Three. Jagged I'm gonna say El Paso Elsewhere because Jagged Alliance Three was like a re-release. Hmm. Uh, Wasn't it? I don't know. I'll just say El Paso because mouse keyboard only in my brain. Yeah, El Paso. Uh, 50, I wouldn't even let it shot to me. Yeah, I have no idea. Jagged Alliance what? 3 is missing the That's rumble. That's bizarre. Hey. How bizarre. Another tactical shooter that fails hard. Destroying dudes with a heavy machine gun could have felt so satisfying. Damn. El Paso, ever, El Paso Elsewhere added vibration after launch, and that's mm. commendable. Nice. Last one. Dragon Ball Z Fighters. <laughs> is that, this is Dragon Ball Fighters. Fighters, fighters, yeah. Fighters. Dragon Ball Fighters. Or uh, the Trails of Cold Steel series. Fighters. <laughs> have it. Don't bet anime against anime. anime. <laughs> yeah. It's tricky. My theory is put to the test here. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> it's Dragon Ball. Yeah, because its arc system works again. I thought my controller was broken while playing Ooh. DBZ, but it only vibrates in online lobbies and cutscenes. Jeez. That's so weird. weird. Yep, that is weird. Uh, the Trails of Cold Steel games put Dragon Quest XI to shame with their excellent <laughs> Rumble implementations. <laughs> Funny. Thank you so much, I wonder so if it's much, some Robert. weird thing with netcode or something. No, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Uh, I don't no, know. No, it doesn't. I think it's just low priority for them on PC. Yeah, yeah. they assume the... They assume most people. people certain games, at least. Keyboard, yeah. From Carl Williams. Hey, allies. I guess we can finally say E3 is officially dead. Yep. For me... It's definitely a bitter pill to swallow as someone who was always into, whether they were good or bad, watching the press conferences live and seeing reactions online. And I can't forget checking out the coverage of most of the games that were featured on various outlets, EZA included. But I guess all good things must come to an end. I'm sure you guys have some, other, some best or even worst moments from E3, but what I want to know is this. Do you have a moment or memory, either from your time attending the convention or before even get to experience it in person, that you would consider underappreciated hmm. a moment that you don't give enough credit for mm. happening to you of all people all the love to you guys and here's to 2024 and beyond a moment that we're personally involved in yeah a moment you would consider underappreciated so i guess it doesn't necessarily have okay. to be in, in your involvement but <laughs> i want to know this is like so like the one i'm thinking of but not involving me involving huber when was it i don't remember if it was your first a3 or whatnot but we were together and you saw a certain someone while we were waiting in line and uh oh, geez, ran over who, to them who was it he does that to your, everyone your your idol the person you'd want to meet he has most. multiple idols yeah, multiple <laughs> yeah a certain game from the series hadn't been announced yet for your meltdown oh oh, oh you, you suzuki, suzuki. Yeah, he was in um, the like little cafe area. Yep. I remember. Yeah, <laughs> right in the lobby. Oh, I remember you saying that. The yeah. main lobby. He was over there. <laughs> yeah, this was before everything. And yeah, I would. I just ran. I actually ran over cal like semi calmly for my standards. Yeah, <laughs> and was like, "Hey, just I'm a huge Shenmue fan." Like shook his hand. It was brief. Mm -hmm. You know, I did my classic like get in, get out type thing. I'm gonna segue. Did right not from accost that. him. I'm going to segue right from that because um, fast forward to like, I don't know how many years later, and I just get this text of like, what's Huber's info? Yu Suzuki wants to talk to him. Hell yeah. That was after. <laughs> that was, yeah, after three was announced, and then I got to go like behind closed doors and like play a little, mm -hmm. not play a little, see a little slice of the game. Shenmue 3. That was awesome. That was incredible. Yeah. Heck yeah. 
underrated moment? I get, dude, uh, I remember Persona 5 was there, and I was just walking by, and John Harden came out. Oh, yeah. And he's like, hey, what's up? Yeah. yeah. And he's like, hey, what's up? Because I met him at Sega when I went to get a Yakuza game for Huber. And I was like, oh, Persona 5, awesome. And he goes, you want to come see it? And he, like, just brought me in there by myself with him, and he showed me, like, 40 minutes of the game. It was really awesome. Nice. Sick. Yeah. Underrated moment, because I didn't even really know who he was at the time, and now he's, like, my favorite, is meeting John Johannes, the director mm. of Hi-Fi Rush and Evil Within 2. Just Wait, where did you meet him? At E3. You just, where, where was it? Uh, it was, like, in the Bethesda booth. Oh, cool. Yep. One of the PR guys was just like, hey, do you want to meet John? Mm Because they knew I liked Evil Within 1. Yeah. Like other, yeah, I'd just been seeing Bethesda stuff at the time. And then we were talking and like, I didn't even know he was the director at the time. It took me like a couple minutes in the conversation to even realize (laughs) like, oh, (laughs) shit. (laughs) That's awesome. Now it's like one of my favorite games ever made. Ali, you got anything? Uh, so many. Like, E3 is legendary. Like, just so many good memories. All the carpet reviews and all the shoots we did and all the people we met. And uh, I had a relationship begin at E3, basically, one time. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, um, when, that time Huber got, like, dissed by Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. But, <laughs> Uh, the, the one that, the one that I wanted to shout out though, was like, I had just, uh, gotten my Sony a seven three. I had just gotten my gimbal. I had just gotten a, a monitor, uh, for that camera and the, the gimbal had legs so I could stand it on things. And I stood it on a, a, a surface while I was talking to some people from our community, uh, for, for an easy update. And the camera started to fall and, uh, the guy from our community grabbed it before it hit the ground. Um, and uh, luckily, you know, prevented a huge amount of damage, uh, probably like breaking the whole camera. In the process, the HDMI cable got like bent and the port broke. But like, that's a small mm. price to pay compared to the whole camera. Um, so shout out wherever you are. Yeah, Thank great you for catching my camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Seeing Dumb Annie book it to Breath of the Wild when those doors opened. Yeah. <laughs> just left me and Kyle in the They're dust. screaming no Hell running yeah. at everyone. Yeah, I mean, just poof, light speed is awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> and Jones clapping at some Nintendo booth. I forgot why. But I saw you guys. Oh, it. I remember that. It was like yeah. a bed or something. He had to clap at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What was that? It yeah. was like Odyssey, maybe, or yeah. Zelda. It was one of those two. <laughs> it's like if it's there, he has to clap or something. Yeah. Like yeah. And he was just like standing yeah. ovation at the yeah. end. Yeah. Yeah. That was if the only thing at the Nintendo booth was going to be um, Breath of the Wild. Yes. Uh, yeah, that was it. Yes. yes. So good. Yes. I just remembered another one uh, that Elise and I were, I think we were shooting a mandatory update, and we bumped into Keeley. And we asked him if he knew what was in the center of the universe, the center of the galaxy in No Man's Sky. And he was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. (laughs) And I was just like, years later, I'm like, he didn't know. (laughs) 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 What was in the center of the universe? It just restarted in the beginning. I'm sure maybe it's different now, but you just restart it. You like go through a black hole or something and it restarted something like that. And it like Hmm. broke all your shit. But you like basically start over from square one, kind of. So it's like an Got actively it. shitty thing. Back when it came out, maybe it's different now. <laughs> Funny. We joked that it was Peter Molyneux in the, in the Ooh. center. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> from Noah Torrenson. Uh Hey, allies. Uh, crazy year for games, with 2023 being one of the most exciting years for video games in recent memory. And the Game Awards officially behind us, it got me thinking of other exciting years. While it's too early to pit 2023 against other years, I wanted to see which years from the previous decades would win out against each other amongst the allies. Mm. Starting with the year mm. I was born. Which is not All right. The sevens. Uh, I'd love to hear each of your favorites from the years listed. Uh, personally, 2011 is still my reigning champion. 
Uh, congrats on episode 400. Here's to many more. Love and respect. So we'll go through these and, and, and give our highlights. I don't know that we want to so like, try to, to what the rank of is. these yeah, things Yeah, what year are. were they born? Starts with 1996. Oh, wow. Okay. So Well, that gets list- the good, the, one of the best years in there. Yeah. So uh, we start off with uh, the ones they listed. Super Mario 64, Ooh. Tomb Raider, Crash Bandicoot, Duke Nukem 3D, Quake, Resident Evil, Pokemon Red and Blue. Wow. Nice. What a oh, year. Yeah. Ninety six, pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, definitely Mario sixty four was yeah that's the yeah. one for me for that me, year it's, absolutely yeah, most Resident insane. Evil Resident Evil of, of course. course yeah of running course. around that one. field yeah, yeah Mario sixty four yeah. actually yeah. blew my mind like also, insane yeah also really big shout out to Duke Nukem three D yeah I that was super fun freaking love that game super fun just perfect Shaky age for it you know I was. Yeah. Nine, yeah, nine-year-old kid playing that. Yeah, that perfect is, nine-year-old yeah. game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was ten, I think, like mm-hmm. or eleven. Eleven. Super Mario RPG was that year as well. Yes, ninety-six. It was. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mario sixty-four is insane. I just, Cause, cause, yeah, I don't know I why. The... Every single time I think of Mario sixty-four, I think of one thing. Yeah, Target. Oh sure, playing it. Yeah, I remember at playing Target Toys R Us. Yeah, yeah. Before yep, it came out, those displays. Yep. Just like that is the memory because it was so mind blowing. Yeah. Well, that's the thing that like Damiani brings up Mario RPG, and I think that's like one of the things that like it colors my perception of Mario RPG because even when I even when I wrote my review, yeah. Huber. I was like, yeah, but the real 3D Mario is coming out later this year when the N64 launches. Yeah. <laughs> real deal. <laughs> wow. That's funny. <laughs> uh, 1998, Metal Gear Solid. Skipping 97, dude? 97, dude? They you... skipped 97? 97 Wait. is one of the best years Wait, in gaming what? history. They skipped 97. Final Fantasy 7. Wait, what? They skipped it. Final Fantasy 7. They were only a, they were a baby. The they were a baby. Remember. They were one years wow. old, but still, that's no excuse. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no excuse. <laughs> Should have been born earlier. 98 had Wait. Metal Gear Solid, this way. Resident Evil 2, Half Life, Go- fucking this. Goldeneye, Starcraft. Symphony right. of the Night, Star Fox 64, Final yeah. Fantasy 7, Turok, Diddy Kong, well, Diddy Kong Racing. Resident Kong. Evil 2, 98. Re- Resident yeah, Evil 2, Starcraft, go. Jedi no, Knight. Resident Evil 2 is 98. Yeah. Mortal Kombat 4, Quake 2. Riven, dude, Fallout, control. dude, Blade yeah, Runner, dude. 98 is out of control. <laughs> 98's the best. <laughs> I don't know if I was talking about 98 or 97 now. I'm I'm talking also, about 90 fucking seven, Pokemon dog. Red, yeah. those Pokemon games, insane. technically came out over is the best. in 98. Yeah, 98's so. the GOAT. 98's the GOAT. Yeah, mm. 98 was... Continue, You're blood. all drunk. Help yeah. us out, blood. List them. Baldur's Gate, mm-hmm. Zelda Ocarina of Time, mm-hmm. Ocarina of Time. What was the last one? Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 97's so better. Good. Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> They're both amazing. Yeah. But awkward time for for me on that. No question. 97 yeah. definitely is huge ones. But yeah, you you, you got MGS, RE2, Half-Life. Mm-hmm. Double, like, that's yeah. Yeah, insane. insane year. Freaking insane. Insane year. Yeah. DDR being Shit was popping off. Of Shit was popping off. Yeah. Wild. But yeah, Zelda's yeah, the one I was obsessed with for sure. <laughs> Definitely liked Banjo Kazooie. Love um, Banjo. A lot m- at the time, more for like the stuff they were doing, the graphics. Like, mm-hmm. Rare was like really leading the way with like new little techniques and stuff yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the others I had basically came to later. Dude, MGS One. Yeah. Starcraft, right? You said Starcraft. Yeah. Dude, yeah, it's insane. Can't handle it. Two thousand. We've got Diablo Two. Yes. Baldur's Gate 2. Final Fantasy 9. Yes. Deus Ex. Mm-hmm. Majora's Mask. And Perfect Dark. Great year. That was like my PC gaming prime, dude. Mm-hmm. Just like so much Diablo 2 and Deus Ex. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Probably a year wasn't as good for me. Probably. Obviously, Majora's Mask, but like looking at oh, the releases say Chrono that Cross? year. Yeah, 2000 was, you know, maybe not the most nine, interesting no. year for someone like me. I say Skies also came out. Skies of Arcadia came out that year, too. But mm. Diablo you know, Code 2 Veronica and... was that year, too. Yeah, oh. Di- but Diablo 2 
and Deus Ex felt like way ahead of their time for yeah. me at that time. Yeah. Oh, Just Diablo what both of those games were doing. Okay. Yeah. Like online Diablo 2 and like land session. And then just Deus Ex, like the the freedom of that game. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get to that until way later. Um, Majora's Mask and Perfect Dark are the ones that I had played that year. Although so much local I was like just you know Perfect. like I was just had freshly moved to LA, so it was like I didn't have like a group of people to play Perfect yeah. Dark with like I did Goldeneye, yeah. so it didn't hit as hard. I just kind of basically played through the campaign and. Never yeah. really got into multiplayer. Dude, on it. shout out for being able to save your freaking multiplayer profile in Perfect Dark. Hmm. Unbelievable. Friends would come over and just like punch in their thing. You'd have all the like stats there. That's great. Oh yeah. my God. Chrono Cross and Final shout Fantasy out IX, to... I got to you later. Oh, I played nine immediately. Loved it. Shout out to the only game that came out in 1999, Silent Hill. Hmm. <laughs> Smash Brothers was 99 as well. Oh, yeah. Never heard of her. <laughs> 2001, Halo, GTA 3, Oof. Smash Brothers Melee. This is pretty pretty lit. Devil May Cry. Dude. Jack and Daxter. That's a good yeah. Final Fantasy 10. This is... Silent Hill, Hell too. Yeah. yeah, this is OP. Hell this is yeah. OP. It's a good year. Yeah, yeah it's a really good year. That's, one. That's OP. That's OP. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> like, we cannot stress the impact and the sheer insanity of Halo online at the time. It was not online. Or, or multiplayer at the time. Yeah, local multiplayer. Yeah. And GTA 3. Next Halo level. did let you land, though. Yeah, you could yeah, land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. System land. Link. Oh, yeah. We Big time land. All over that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smash Brothers, dude, people still Silent can't Hill let 2. that game go. Yep. Oh, for sure. Silent Hill 2 changed crazy. my life, man. Silent Hill 2. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, one I just remember was back in 96 was Wave Race, dude. Mm-hmm. Dawn. Yes. Dawn. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so much Halo, so much Smash. So much Halo. Mm -hmm. Star Wars Rogue uh, Leader mm -hmm. also there. Just, mm. yeah. Uh, 2005, RE4, oh. mm -hmm. Shadow Woo. of the Colossus, God of War 2. Woo. Guitar Hero, the first oh, God of War, first God of War, yeah, God of War 1, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Kingdom Hearts 2, mm -hmm. and Yakuza. Yakuza 1, baby, I was there. <laughs> Damn right, I was there. I was not. I was there for Kingdom Hearts, though, baby. <laughs> yeah. All over RE4. Yeah. I think I got to Shadow of the Colossus a little bit later, but I, when I got a PS2, that was like one of the first Yeah, things. I got to it like a month or two late. S yeah. So that Kingdom Same Hearts thing with Guitar 2, Hero. by the way, is Japan, just so you know, for 2005. Oh, okay. I was like, wait well, a those, second. Those wiki, these wiki dates. Mm, actually. <laughs> well, I was uh, like, uh, it didn't come. I was like, it didn't come out in 2005. Not so got fast. It. <laughs> gotcha. 2007, Portal. This is a good one. Hell yeah. Team Ooh. Fortress 2. Uh, Halo 3. Halo 3, Halo 3. dude. Finish, Finish the, the fight. fight. In college, perfect timing. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Oh, my God. Bioshock. Yup. Woo! Oh, wow, yeah. Mass Effect. Yep. Uh. Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, dude. Oh. OP. Insane year. Yeah, great year. I will never... Yeah. I'll never forget when that first cutscene ends in Bioshock and you're in the water. Oh, yeah. I thought it was still a cutscene. It looked insane. I will never forget it's, it. Even like I, several I, I years later. I was sitting there for like 40 seconds. Yeah. I was just waiting. I was like, wait a second. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Even when I went back to it when before Infinite came out, yeah. I was still like, this game looks nuts. Crazy. Yeah. God, I've been meaning to replay this for a couple years now. Got to get around to it again. Um, Mario Galaxy, one of the very few oh. unanimous goatee votes yep. at Game Trailers. 10 out of 10. Also, one of those moments when it's like, oh, the store's got it. 
everyone everyone going. Like, hell yeah. yeah get a I copy for everybody love it. Yeah. yeah hustle back hustle back <laughs> Hustle back. Oh, those moments are fun. Was Hustle back MGS5 or Bloodborne? Yeah, was it was MGS5. Five. Yeah. yeah, it was MGS5. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hustle back. GTA 6 would be. Yeah, and that, that year, moments. like, I, yeah, I played all those. Mm hmm. I didn't get that deep into Team Fortress 2 because I had an Xbox version. Ooh. But the world needs more Brad as a spy in Team Fortress 2 <laughs> streams. The world needs it, Brad. We gotta fix Play some more their bots, man. dude. <laughs> God. It's like too chaotic, you're man. Depriving it's like too the, much of the Wild West now, you're dude. You're depriving us. <laughs> we it's need too it. Insane now. It is, it is a work of art, listeners. It is a work of art <laughs> watching Brad sneak behind enemy lines as I'm, a spy. I'm retired, dude. Yeah, I'm yeah. Retired. Hung up the knife, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Two thousand nine. Left for Dead Two. Two. Oh yeah. Just two. it just leaps and bounds Left better than one. So now, and then they just ended up putting one into like yeah. everything. Assassin's Creed 2. 2, dude. Oh my god. Before, like, dude. Because, like, it, it's it's not a criticism, but just, like, the more of something you get, you know, the less impact it the has. The world was ready for more Assassin's Creed at that point. Oh, yes, yeah. oh, yes. Yeah. At 2, oh my god, 2. 100% of that thing. Uncharted 2. Oh my oh, god. Jeez. <laughs> jeez. Demon's Souls. Yes, yeah. dude. Ooh, we were there. Yeah, changed there. everything, yep. dude. Angry Birds. Yeah. Angry Birds. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> I love Angry Birds. Shout out. Dragon Age Origins. Yep. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah, cool. PC version. PC though. version. PC yeah. version. PC version. Yeah. Batman Arkham Asylum. Yes. I was in college yes. at the time. I'll never forget. I went down to the Stonestown Mall. In San Francisco, I skipped class. I said, I'm not going in today because you can afford that luxury. And, uh, you know, the class I was taking was like a thing. I had film class that day. I was like, ah, I'm good on this this class today. And I remember just going home with the collector's edition, popping that thing in. Killer Croc. Mm -hmm. Having your scent. One of, one of my, one, like ingrained into my brain. I can like put myself there. 2010. Red Dead Redemption. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Mass Effect 2. Yep. I remember hey. calling Brad so often being, because like, Brad was like, ah, eh, Mass Effect 1 was fine. And then playing 2, I remember just like calling Brad, because I was in San Francisco at the time, I was like, Brad, dude, Mass Effect 2, you gotta get it, dude, you gotta get it. Yeah, I didn't get the hype with one yeah. at the time. I was yeah. like, nah. But then two. It's kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, one is trash. One yeah. is whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> two, bro. Two. Yeah, two is so good. Two. <laughs> Halo Reach. Fun. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was fun playthrough, dude. Super fun. Super Meat Boy. Ooh. Yeah, we online hit Reach probably. We did, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did. Limbo. Nice. Love yeah. Limbo. Super Mario Galaxy 2. Oh, yeah. baby. God, I love Galaxy 2. Perfect game. And Donkey Kong Country Returns. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really fun. What's funny is I never actually really went back and played that one. Played through it's, Tropical Freeze, but, but the first one harder. just didn't grab me as You have much. to play on Wii or 3DS, I guess. Yeah. It's not as easy to go back to. But yeah, Tropical Freeze is just better all around. Mm -hmm. Next year, 2011, Batman Arkham City. Best. Wow. The best. Culmination. Dark Souls. Yes. Perfect game. <laughs> Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. Skyrim. Definitely. Definitely. Skyrim huge at the time. Moment. Huge at moment. At the time. Huge mm. moment, yeah. Then it's, then it had its, I had a lot of fun with that Then game. it had its GTA Five moment. Re-release on re-release <laughs> on re-release. So it's like a little fatiguing. <laughs> Portal 2. Mm -hmm. Really great. Really great. Minecraft. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Juggernaut. Super Seedlings. Mario 3D Land. Fun. 3DS one? Really fun. Oh my god, it's yeah. one of my all-time favorites. Do the Bowser fight? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And Skyward Sword. I like Skyward Sword. Yeah, it's, it's got, got problems. problems. <laughs> it's got problems, but it's fun. Yeah, I love it. I think it's fun. Girahim, one of the greatest characters in the entire He's, franchise. He's definitely one of the best villains, I think. In the franchise. There's like three Damiani. Of them, there's like three bills. <laughs> so, one of the best. One of the all just snorts. Yeah. Yo, those motion controls 
we're, we're a little splashy, dude. But, some padding. <laughs> but at the time, it didn't even matter. It didn't hey, even matter. That game single-handedly resulted in us having Nintendo Direct, so thank, <laughs> thank Skyward Sword for that. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassed Miyamoto. Oh, no. Last year they left. How it. long did it take What's for that? Wii Motion Plus to come out? Uh, oh, it's 2011. So that's Sports four years. Resort, right? How many years? It's about four. Yeah. Damn. Three to four. Somebody's. Does it work retroactively with Skyward no. Sword? No. no. Skyward Sword it had, it. it had it. You had oh, to have it. You had to have it. Okay. Yeah. You had yeah. to have it. Okay. You had it. Oh, Motion Plus came 2009. 2009 worldwide. Okay. June 2009. Okay. Yeah. So Wii Sports Resort was that year, but we still had to wait for Zelda. Got it. Chill. Yeah. 2013, last year on the list. Oh, baby. GTA oh, baby. 5. Yep. Whoa. Last of Us. Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Really dude, fun, dude. Link Between need Worlds. To that. Oh, my Damn. God. So good. The Stanley Parable. Yeah. Dude. Bioshock Infinite. Infinite fun. demands... A re-examination. I know. I really need it. Demands it. it. I remember not liking the second half yeah, of the game. Yeah, it truly demands it. it. Now that there's time, as time and hype has passed. Mm-hmm. The Last of Us, of course. Mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed Four, Black yeah. Flag. Yo, yeah. Black Flag, dude. 2013 is pretty insane. Uh, and Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice one to throw in there. At the nice end. one. Yeah, yeah. 2013 is crazy. Link Between Worlds and 3D Land are like my absolute two favorite handheld games ever made. Mm. For sure. Nice stuff. Thanks, Noah. Nintendo. Pristine. Yeah. Quality. Yeah. yeah. From Parasite Paladin. Wait, do, are we supposed to say what our favorite year is really quick? I mean. Out of those? You could try. Yeah, I a thought, lot to I remember. I'm trying to like knock yeah, true, that out, true, which true. not work. True. Yeah. I'm just going to say 2013. It's like a full day meeting or something. I'm putting eggplants. Like trying to move things around on a, and yeah. a board. <laughs> <laughs> 1997, which they didn't even put on the list. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say 98 and 2013. Past <laughs> and shorter oh, oh, past. <laughs> From Parasite Paladin. Hello, EZA. I dislike horror and do whatever I can to avoid it. Mm-hmm. However, for whatever reason, I played Fatal Frame 2 nice. and became a massive fan of the franchise. Great. Hell Despite yeah. being terrified, I played the games a little at a time. Uh, sadly, Those are spooky. <laughs> sadly, due to becoming older and life making more me more anxious, I can't handle it anymore. Yeah. With the most recent <laughs> release, Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse, the anxiety was physically overwhelming to the point I had to stop playing. Any tips on how I can uh, can overcome the oppressive fear? Uh, definitely play in daylight. Mm-hmm. Definitely play maybe with other people in the around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Those are the two biggest. Yeah. Maybe even spoil yourself a little bit if you really can't play. Look ahead in like a video or a guide to see what's coming, so it's like less intense when it happens and, and you're in it. Put a podcast on. Yeah, a yeah, podcast. yeah. <laughs> sure. Put a podcast on. Turn the volume down. Turn podcast the volume down. up. Yeah, yep. podcast up. Definitely. Also, you don't have to play it <laughs> if you don't yeah. want to. Yeah, horror is the number one thing on this earth where it's like, if someone is not into it, I will never push it. You know, mm. it's just like, yo, if you're scared, like you're scared, dude, hang it up. Like <laughs> no, <laughs> no up. shame. Yeah. yeah. But if you really want to, those, those tips for sure. Yeah. Playing, that- playing horror games with, with Sophia next to me, like she takes all my fear away. Yeah. Nice. It's weird. Like movies, horror movies, it doesn't work. I'm still afraid. Mm-hmm. But like if I'm playing a game and someone else is watching me, I like don't experience fear. It's weird. Heck yeah. Buddy up. <laughs> yeah. From David Warren. Hey, allies, when I'm playing games like Tetris 99, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Beat Saber, etc., I notice if I imagine someone is watching me play, or if I have a friend actually watching, I end up doing better. Like that extra pressure helps push me to another level. Do you find the same, or is the opposite true? As streamers, I would think you would have an idea. I do worse, for sure. 
Because my brain, yeah, I can't multitask as it is. Mm. So, like, if I'm playing alone in a room, I can put 100% of my energy, energy into it. Less distractions yeah. just all yeah. around. Like, all um, I have, like, 30% of my brain just taken up on chat and whatever else is going yeah, on. Yeah, streaming is just, like, you, you're not 100% focused on it as you would yeah. be usually. Yeah. So, like, I'll miss stuff a lot mm -hmm. more if I'm streaming. Man. Yeah, I, I hate... have a tendency to like worry about like in a more personal like if I'm playing a game and Sophia's watching or whatever, I'll I'll worry more about what she thinks of the game than what I think about it. So it can impact my like like if I don't think she's liking it, I'm like, oh yeah. well, maybe I maybe like I don't I like can... it. Like what's happening? <laughs> yeah. I kinda have a similar thing like that, Isla, where it's like I'm worried if, that Chad is having a good time. Yeah. So for like Darkest Dungeon 2, hardest game of my life. It's like sometimes I won't take 20 minutes to look and analyze it every single mm. stat and move because that's kind of boring. So then I just kind of end up like pressing on, moving forward. Yeah, you want to yeah. keep it moving. Keep yeah. it moving instead of like, yo, let me just hang out for 30 minutes and read all this text. Like, no, you got to yeah. you gotta move. And then I pay the price. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, maybe the one counter to all that is when you're like having to like recite instructions, for example, was it was it Resident Evil Two, which was the one we were doing where uh, I think I was with you, Hubert, at the studio, mm -hmm. and I was trying to like give in like instructions. So I guess I wasn't. Playing Zombie it, can't was grab I? you on the stairs. But but yeah, <laughs> I'm remembering it wrong. But you can't get grabbed on the stairs. The point <laughs> is right in games where like I'm explaining what needs to be done. And I'm playing at the same time. That keeps me like hyper focused because it's like I am just literally like just talking about what I'm doing and what's coming up. So my That's head, sick. my my track of mind is like going that way. But other than that, yeah, it's hard to you know yeah hold that a conversation and play. So like I kind of try to have to like find things that uh you know you can kind of like just mindlessly hit buttons and you're still doing okay. You know yeah. and then. You know, that way you could like, you know, keep the conversation going and not worry about, oh, hang on, I got to do this real quick. Yeah. It was definitely Resident Evil 2, Damiani, those extra modes because you were like going over the strats, like hunk and stuff. And mm, I remember you like okay, talking through it. Was it. That. Oh, yeah. Oh, like fifth yeah. survivor? Yeah. Or fourth survivor? I remember that specifically. Yeah, I think different, it's still hard. different context so than like just whether there's somebody there or not because it's like, I definitely have had the streamer brain, the brain fog kind of thing like you're talking about, Hubert, where it's like, I, I, I just feel like I'm sort of disconnected and I'm like not getting it, you know, or whatever, or like even times like, um, like when we've done like the Achieve It Yourself competitions and there's mm -hmm. something I've done like a million times but I just can't get the timing right Yeah. in the middle of the, the time pressure. Yeah, I get nervous. Um, with just privately when we're like not streaming, uh, there are definitely times where like I I like having someone there to like experience it with me. Mm -hmm. um, but that is that there are also times when I get kind of this almost like a similar thing that you're describing towards like like just hold on hold on we're almost at a good part yeah, like yeah. you just like you you start like feeling like everything is taking like ten times as long. Yeah, <laughs> it's like wait 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 just let me get through this and you yep. you'll see what I'm, I'm trying to show you. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. Um, so yeah, I th I have times when it goes both ways. Yeah. Uh, from Felipe Fonseca, hi allies. Uh, I bought a new Samsung TV last month, and if and it has Xbox Game Pass and X Cloud built in. Nice. So I, yeah, I did nice. the mm -hmm. game things with that. It worked really well. Nice. Since I don't have an Xbox or a good PC. I subscribe to Game Pass, incredible value. Incredible value. Incredible and have value. been playing the games. Uh, it's been amazing. The TV is great, and it was half the price of a Series X here in Brazil. Wild. And like most tech things, this technology will only get better. Currently, I'm replaying GTA V. Me too. The Series X version. Hell yeah. Uh, what a great game. Oh yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts and experiences with the cloud? Do you think it's gonna pay up for Xbox in the future? 
I think it will. Love and respect and happy holidays. I mean, wow. Brad always talks about like not needing really an Xbox, even though he has one because of PC. Mm-hmm. But like this is another level on top yeah. of that, which is so wild. So it really is like, yeah, Xbox doesn't have as many sales as PlayStation and stuff. But like you factor in just, you know, Game Pass on PC and Game Pass on Samsung now. And it's like the numbers are, yep. you know, not as dire as it would just be like hardware sale numbers you right. know so yeah definitely I'm, the future i'm in the same boat as this uh this person uh i had to get a tv because i am having i have to have people over now and they're like where's your tv <laughs> i'm like oh uh i don't have a tv and they're like you need one we want to watch stuff i'm like oh well i watch on my computer monitors and they're like we can't see and i'm like oh my god this is Come, people are complicated. I, I so anyway, <laughs> Humans. Got to get it like I got yeah Tell for us Black other Friday. People, I know. I was like, okay, fine. Here, like, let's get a TV. But it's a <laughs> it's a Samsung it's smart so TV, and it has the same thing. It has like a media and a games thing. It does some crazy shit. But it came with a month free of Game Pass. I just activated it, and because I have like gigabit internet here, it's like yeah. It like I keep forgetting. I we're, I don't have an Xbox. I just it's the TV. Um, so, yeah, as long as people have, like, good internet and the technology keeps improving, it really, they're making it easy. Also, like, the one thing the smart TV does that's actually smart, and I'm like, cool, it detects my PlayStation 5 at all times. So, like, when I turn the TV off, it turns the PlayStation 5 off. And when oh, I yeah, turn the TV oh, on, I it will turn the PS5 on. And when I activate the controller, it will switch over to PS5 from another source. There's settings to disable it, but I like this. I'm like, yeah, because okay. like I want to play, you know. So like I actually like the default settings for it. And it's like, dude, this is actually pretty cool. I actually like this. Also, the it like legitimately like the blacks on it are amazing because like yeah. I think the screen's off half the time, and it's like during like a loading screen of black, I'm like. That's good. I like yeah. that. Like, <laughs> that was the first thing I, I haven't seen noticed. that in a lot. Like, yeah, I was like, blood would be blood would approve of all these settings here. Like, it's <laughs> no crush blacks. It's like real and that HDR and everything. It's like it runs. First time I've had all this shit. It runs correctly, and I'm like, okay, it actually looks good. Nice. Yeah, I've I've used XCloud on my phone, uh, like at my stepmom's or whatever, and I was playing Grounded, I think, on it. I really like xCloud. It just kind of works. Pretty chill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you, you've got the the scenario that really they're trying to hit. It's like, oh, the people yep. that aren't able to do this, you know, you're like, yeah, let Xbox just costs a lot of money in freaking Brazil. You know, it's like, oh, you just, you get a new TV, now you can play Xbox. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, that's a sale they, they didn't have for Game Pass. It's pretty... Pretty great. Pretty good yeah. way to expand that. All right, let's play a game. Come back. Come back. Uh, I have a video of it from Nick Believe It. Uh, I have a video game version of Boink, Mary Kill. I'm calling Complete Keep Delete. Boink? Yes. Boink. <laughs> well, that doesn't the, say innuendo. That's the, yes. That's okay. what they wrote. Just that's, making sure. That's the PG version. Just making sure I'm yeah. on the uh, Dawn fanfic wavelength here. <laughs> Below or <Meat> sleeve, <laughs> Mary kill. <laughs> Below are sets of three games. The theme is the May 2020. The theme is the May 2020 Xbox third party next gen showcase. And for each triplet, the panel must say whether you're going to complete quote unquote boink. Uh, all of earn all the achievements, including DLC, then delete the game forever. I'm confused. So complete is you earn everything, do all the DLC, then you have to delete the game. Okay. One time full completionist run. Okay. Keep the Mary option. This game must forever remain on your Series X's infinitely huge SSD. Great, great, great. But you may play as much or as little as you want. Great. Or delete, kill. As far as you're concerned, this game never existed. Okay. So complete, keep, or delete. Okay. Round one. So beat the game in a one night stand, keep it around forever sentimentally, or delete it immediately. Got mm-hmm. it. Great. Um, sorry, message is coming in. I'm trying to process. Uh, round one, AAA, Dirt 5, 
Yakuza Like a Dragon, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Kill them all. Dirt. Yeah, sorry, Dirt. Sorry, Dirt. <laughs> I'll I, marry Yakuza, whatever that one is. Yeah, I'll marry Yakuza, and I will... Boink. Complete. Boink. Complete. Yeah. Complete. Valhalla. Complete Valhalla, yeah, I'll yeah. complete it. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's impossible. Complete, <laughs> the game is That's huge. Rough yeah. complete. Yeah. But it is one that, like, when you're done, you're done. It's a one and done. You're not, re you're not yeah. replaying that game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Some of that DLC was sick. But no. yeah, Dirt, Dirt 5, fine game, but yeah, not anything particularly significant. Mm -hmm. Round 2, Double A. Um, Chorus, the flying space mm -hmm. game. Scarlet Nexus. Uh, or second extinction and reclaim the Earth, or reclaim Earth. The latter of which is, of course, shutting down next year, having never left early access. Oh, I played that. Oof. Did what was you? The first oh, yeah, it was that dinosaur oh, game. Oh, that's the dinosaur game. Yeah, I played that. All right. Oh, chorus. Yeah. Well, chorus. Scarlet yeah. I'm, is I'm the best of those three. So. Yeah, I'm marrying Scarlet I'm, Nexus. Marry Scarlet yeah. Nexus. I'm deleting Chorus. Cor chorus. I never, even, I, don't even, I never played it. I'll delete that early. The one that's never yeah. coming out. I don't know. I would probably delete Second Extinction, yeah. Yeah. Course, do the full extinction. one and done. No, I'm going with Second Extinction. <laughs> I'm completing it. Huh? Shooting T Rex, dude? Yeah, I'm sick. It's hard to beat. Shooting a T Rex. Uh, round three Indie. Bright Memory Infinite. Call of the Sea or The Ascent. And The Ascent. I'm keeping The Ascent. This game is scent. sick. Wow. Yeah. Love that game. I'm completing Call of the Sea, and I'm deleting the other one. Yeah, I think I'm with you on that. Call of the Call Sea of the was fine. Cool. Mm -hmm. I don't need it's to fun. replay it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Bright Memory Infinite is like a prologue for the like full Bright Memory, right? So like, you could just play Bright Memory. You don't need to mm -hmm. play Infinite oh, yeah. necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. And then Love Ascent the is Ascent. something that, yeah, you could just pick up and whatever. Awesome game. Yeah. yeah. Same. Round three. Indie. Oh, wait, no, that's what I just said. Sorry. Round four. Horror. Last one. Scorn. The Medium. And Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I'm well, deleting Well, I'd marry the... Bloodlines 2. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't even played it in all What was the first one, though? Scorn. Scorn. Scorn, Scorn I'll complete. I'll complete yeah, Scorn, Scorn and I'm delete completing. the medium. Yeah, delete, delete the medium. medium. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I do not care for that. And we're marrying bloodlines. <laughs> yeah. It was hilarious. They had a note with what we currently know. Replace with Madden 21 if preferred. <laughs> like, that's not a horror game. You gotta marry bloodlines because it'll be... Patched Why for, Madden like, 21? years <laughs> and modded. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is all from that press conference. That was that was where yeah, all of these came and from. Yeah, pulled from. Um, the media. We've got more news to come. Oh, but if you've been enjoying the show so far, please take a second to like and subscribe and ring that bell on YouTube. It helps us and it helps you stay connected. And now a word from our sponsors. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's the holiday season, and for a lot of people that means a lot of stress. There's gift giving, there's family, there's family. Uh, sometimes there's a lack of family. Uh, it's stressful for a lot of reasons. We exchange gifts on Christmas Eve in my family, but lately there's been less of an emphasis on gifts and more of an emphasis on just spending time together, doing things together, um, which has felt nice. Um, I hope that you find nice time uh, during the holidays, and I hope that you don't get too stressed. But if you are feeling really stressed, the holidays are a great time for therapy. Uh, I speak to my therapist every week. It's really, really helpful for me. Uh, it's really necessary, I would say, for human life to have a therapist. Uh, so I think that it just kind of helps work through any stresses, work through any problems, and the holidays are such a stressful time for so many people. Don't forget to give that gift to yourself of, you know, peace and 
relaxation over the holidays. You deserve it, you know? Don't let everything kind of run away from you, you know? And therapy is a great part of that kind of balanced lifestyle, along with a complete breakfast. <laughs> if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Very important. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com allies today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash allies today. And if you are a patron of Easy Allies, Thank you. Uh, from Garrett Holfish. Just wanted to say that Huber did a fantastic job as the podcast host. Yeah. Thank he you. was lively. Yeah. His transitions were smooth. <laughs> and he added a little bit of chaos that really kept me listening. Heck yeah. Thanks for a great episode, Huber. Nice. Thanks. Thank you, Bloodworth, for setting it up. <laughs> from Super Sushi. Greetings, allies. If you had to make a video game based on your favorite movie, what kind of game would it be? They already made it. Alien Isolation. <laughs> Pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, Fellowship of the Ring turn-based RPG, I think. Sick. Turn-based. I mean, my yep. favorite movie is... The Princess Bride. <laughs> so I guess they did like, make a game, a Muso. A video game? There is a game. Oh yeah. When? Oh, uh, it might be like about ten years ago now. What? Sounds like game. How have I never heard of this stuff? Oh, it was. It, it was. Yeah, it was a talk. People. People brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would make a version that's. Like a Dark Soulsy Elden Ring, like Elden Ring, basically, but like a little funnier. Mm. Like a funny Elden Ring, Blood Princess Bride. You know, you could go to Gilder, you could you could go to Florin. It'd be great. And Damian was just so sick of it, he bailed. No, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll go with Damian. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, for. Uh, yeah, for Nazca, um, I think, yeah, probably something that's similar to, like, Zelda Breath of the Wild or Tears yeah, of the Kingdom. Yeah, she has that glide thing. And yeah, being able to glide around yeah. and, like, bugs. check out giant bugs and, yeah. like, explore the forest and mm -hmm. the underneath and the towns and stuff. And then, like, yeah, well, and, and then you get to, like, get up in the plains and stuff, too, mm -hmm. and fly around and, yeah. like, do some, like, Star Fox style, like, Flight combat stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. The beginning would be pretty sweet. Plus, like, we don't have a lot of, like, huge open world things that, like, look like yeah. full-on Ghibli yeah. art style. I was thinking I want, like, that Lord of the Rings game to look like Sea of Stars or something. Or, like, 16 Oh, interesting. Style. Yeah, because we haven't seen... It. Like, every everyone that's doing it is, like, either trying to, like, do the movies mm -hmm. or still do something, you know, like... Golem is still trying to be some, somewhat realistic. Right? Yeah. Um, so like, I feel like the last like cartoony, like Tolkien thing was like the Hobbit game that came out on like PS2. PS2. Yeah. 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 Uh, I could go for a Seven Samurai game in the spirit of Red Dead Two. Oh. Mm. Like that vibe. Nice. That'd be cool. Nice. A Thirteen Assassins game. That'd be pretty sick. Mm-hmm. Are you talking sick. about the Princess Bride game from two thousand eight? That's probably the one. like a phone game, too. That's probably the one, the 2008 game. What? Oh. What's, what are the reviews like? I've never even seen <laughs> this game. It's like a Flash game, but it has the oh. actual voices? Yeah, I think I remember that. It has that. the voices. Oh. Well, what You know what you're hell? doing tonight. I don't know yeah. if it's on... Uh... <laughs> Archive.org or anything like that, but yeah, you should try to yeah, play that sometime. <laughs> Good God. All right, Damiani, you got a movie you want to see and in, turn into a game? Uh, Castle in the Sky turned into an RPG. Ooh. Sick. 
Nurse. Sick. I just went with Nauska, like a uh, Breath of the Wild style game. Oh, uh, okay. That's awesome, too. I'll take either of those. Um, from Mistwalker. Hello, allies. What are some Christmas gifts you were hoping for when you were younger that you didn't get that you would now get as an adult? For me, it was some CDs because physical media is still important. Sony has proved that. <laughs> <laughs> as well as some toys that I was always curious to revisit. Uh, my whole life I wanted, well, my whole life, my whole child life, I always wanted the most must-be-nice thing for a kid, those giant electric cars. Oh, Power, oh, wheel. power <laughs> wheel. Power <laughs> wheel, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Must be nice. Absolutely. <laughs> I always wanted um, the Dino Riders, the Dino Rider with the T Rex. It mm -hmm. was like what the main bad guy. He had the T Rex. It was so sick. So that's funny. Like, going off of that, like I also there was a He Man T Rex mm -hmm. that came like pretty late in the Masters of the Universe stuff. It's like it was called like Tyrannosaurus Rex or whatever. Sick. Had some like crazy green thing that's like shot out of its belly. Yeah. This um, this T Rex had like laser cannons and yeah. shit all over it. It's <laughs> awesome. There's also. Uh, mm -hmm. Around that same time, there was like a dragon blaster Skeletor. He had like a little dragon riding on his back. That's awesome. You get the Ooh. Skeletor uh, Call of Duty skin blood? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's also the, uh, the I never had the, the Ninja Turtles van. The van. Oh, oh the yep, van. That's one the of the ones. Drone. Yep, for sure. Yeah. That, the blimp, <laughs> the Technodrome. Um, the yep. little sewer hideout. Yeah. Yeah. The Ghostbusters headquarters built I thing. had that, so, dude. Like, I had the Ghostbusters that. HQ. I got a garage sale. Oh. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, it's that's pickup. awesome. Then, that was a yeah. sick pickup. Dude. Yeah, no, I never steel. had any of that Ghostbusters stuff. Like, I I do remember wishing I had had like like the actual like proton the proton bag. My brother trap. wanted that yeah, more than had those. anything. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I had the the slime one, and my brother had the normal one. It's dope. The funny thing is the second part of this question. Like, I can't. I don't know if I would want these things as an adult. I don't really need. Them. I don't want a power <laughs> wheel. Nah, no, nah. you <laughs> have one. I would rock it. <laughs> Adult it's power in the bike wheel. lane. Isn't that just like one of the? Isn't that just a golf cart? Yes, I guess so. There's That's just the golf cart. Golf carts. Car. <laughs> there are some big golf carts, man. Damn. Saw this one diner the other day. I was like, it's next much? to a car. I was like, it was the size of the car. I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> the diner rider I want on eBay right now is three hundred. Damn. <laughs> How much is a power wheel? Do they still make a them? power? Oh yeah, yeah they still make those. Yeah, kids yeah. still get. Those. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I remember there was a Batmobile one. I saw it at yeah. Toys R Us. It was so sick. I know. They, like, hung them up, like, on the highest shelves. Mm -hmm. Anytime yeah. I think of a Power Wheels, though, I think of a, a Barbie. I think, I think of just, like, a big might have had Jeep. One, yeah. yeah, I think of a Jeep a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, those were sick. They so also had a awesome. big, like, those well, those big plastic, like, orange and yellow cars. They didn't have any power. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Isla, do you have any any <laughs> toys you didn't get? Anything like that? I've always nope. gotten everything I ever wanted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did we get down the onies? I, I started listing the other turtle stuff, but oh, like, yeah, yeah. But I, in general, I got like I got smart quickly. I knew not to ask for like video games. Basically, so if you're going for like you know, statistics. It's like, I asked for things I knew I would actually get mm -hmm. because I was like, Oh, I'm not going to get this if I asked for that. And I started, yeah. I mean, I did like babysitting other chores around like 13 years old. So around the time I was started driving when I was 16, I actually had like a little bit of money. So anytime I wanted a game, I would buy my own video game because yes. I knew I would not get it if I asked for it. Like, Maybe I got one or two games outside of like Super Nintendo for Christmas, which was supposed to be like for the family and like the one or two games that that we got like one the Mario World that came with it one other game, um, like starting with N sixty four onward, I got the system as a gift, but not for Christmas. But every game I had to pretty much buy on my own after that fact. Like I remember having to like use my money to pre order. Ocarina of Time for the gold cartridge. Mm. Um, like going, being driven to Best Buy, 
placing down the ten dollars and then coming back and paying the rest of it in the cash I had. And I was like, oh yeah. But I asked for movies usually. I, like we talked about Lord of the Rings, three Christmases in a row, extended editions. It was like my number one gift. Like Fellowship <laughs> extended, Two Towers extended. Literally would open it, be like, let's go. Like I'd be like, are we done here? Going back to my room and watching this right <laughs> now. See this. you tonight for dinner. <laughs> Only Dom yeah, we would min max Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually did, I actually did a similar thing where it was like we would, for the big ticket, we didn't really ask for a lot of stuff. Um, you know, we were well taken care of, whatever. But like for the big ticket stuff, like a PS3 or whatever, it was usually like this can be my Christmas and my birthday, you know, because our birthdays my sister and I are both, both in February. So we would always just be like, listen, I know this is an ask. Like, just let's just combo it, you know, mm -hmm. but then similar to Damiani, like, I guess, cause in a misguided attempt to teach me the value of a dollar, my dad had me start working when I was 14. So, uh, which had the exact opposite effect because I had no bills. So it just taught me that 100% of my income was expendable. Um, so like I would just buy <laughs> anime DVDs and movies and games and music and everything I ever wanted, I would just buy for myself. So like, when Christmas rolled around, it was always just like, I don't know, give me some Legos, like do whatever you want, you know, like, yeah. So it was more just about kind of like hanging out. Hmm. From Cabbage Lad. Hi, allies. My wife and I are expecting our first child in a few weeks. Wow. Congrats. Congrats. Of course, gaming will be winding down for me, but one thing I've seen online from other parents is how handy the Switch is for quick bursts of play. Turn-based RPGs are especially good due to less intensive inputs. My question is, what RPGs or similar genres would you recommend? So far on the list, I have Dragon Quest XI, Nino no Kuni, Final Fantasy IX, and the Phoenix Wright games. Love and respect, mm. and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Sumo RPG. Mm -hmm. Easy to get in there. All the Final Fantasies are on Switch. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Especially the, the Rogue, pixel lights, remasters, because you can turn on all the remasters stuff and yeah. like mm -hmm. get a lot done in a short time. Seven like has Like 20 that. minutes of a boost on that, you'll get through a lot of those games. Eight has it. Yeah. All of those are easy. Oh, Final, the Rogue Void lights. Final Fantasy V. That one is freaking long. Darkest that one is Dungeon. ridiculously wrong. <laughs> Darkest Dungeon I might be a little three, tense when you're holding a baby. Houses? If you haven't done oh, three yeah. houses, maybe that would be good. Yeah, I mean, I keep hearing so much good stuff about Octopath Traveler too. That's like, yeah, I heard good things. Oh about yeah, it. Gotta, all those. Gotta recommend that. It's Team Out Snow Games. Yeah. Didn't love the first one though, so I am hesitant. I feel like roguelites because they're just quick bursts. You never know when that baby's gonna. You need to do something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's why turn base is nice. If yeah. There's, there's no pressure. You can just exactly. leave it there and come back Darkest to it. Dungeon, yeah. baby. No story really you need to follow. Like, there is a little bit, but it's not like some deep-ass RPG where mm -hmm. people are chatting nonstop. You just zone out. You could also do stuff like Grindstone or Let's Revolution or those kinds of things where it's more like, like a light RPG, but more like Match 3 or whatever. Let's Revolution is kind of like Minesweeper. Uh, yeah. Bejeweled. Sick. Uh, even though it's action, like, I do think something like Mario Brothers Wonder is, is good because it's like, it's still like those stages go by pretty quick. Mm -hmm. So like you can do a level and then go and do what you need to do or whatever. Um, and kind of like, even if you need to stop in the middle of a level, it's fine. Yeah. It's, it's like, not, yeah. You're yeah. not like you have to worry about saving, yeah. you know, or finding a save point or, you know, getting lost in some giant spot or something like that. Yeah. I don't know if it's on Switch. It's on. I played it on Steam Deck, but you can get it on your phone now, maybe through Netflix. But Immortality is pretty mm. um, pick upable and put downable because like it doesn't exactly super matter when you like start and stop. Definitely need you to kind of just like put a fair you know, amount of attention to what the heck is going on though. You gotta well, just like yeah, pixel remember hunting, yeah. what you've seen, but yeah. Mhm. Mm nice. Uh, let's play a game! Okay. I'm Cody Spencer. Hello, allies. First off, I want to say that it saddens me to see Brad leave Easy A at the end of the year, as it has with Kyle, Ben, and Jones. With that said, I wish Brad 
the best of luck in this next chapter, and to EZA, with whom I will continue to support and love. Thank you. Now, let's play a game. Previously, I brought a game in which you had to guess which of two games had a larger open world map. <laughs> this time, you will have to guess which open world game has the smaller map size. Each map is measured in square miles based on Game Rant's top 10 smallest open world games list. Much love and respect, Cody. First one. Yakuza or GTA 3? GTA 3. Probably GTA. Ooh, GTA. Wait, Yakuza 1? Yakuza 1, because it's just Kamarocho, right? Yakuza. Yeah, Yakuza, maybe. GTA 3 is really GTA 3, really you get in, like, car zone. There's the other islands, right? Yeah, that is a tough I, one. I think Yakuza, maybe? Yeah, I don't know enough about Yakuza. But Dude, GTA 3 is really would, small when you go back. It is. Real like, it's small. It's not as big as you remember GTA games being, so. Yeah. Shoot, I don't know. I'm gonna say GTA uh, 3. I'm gonna go with it. I might be wrong here, but I'm gonna go with it. I'll go with Yakuza. It is Yakuza. It's Yakuza, yeah. Two square miles versus three square yeah. miles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so close. I think it's because uh, GTA 3 is so small when you compare it to like Vice City and shit. Yeah, mm. it's like, so much bigger. Crazy. Assassin's Creed Syndicate versus Assassin's Creed 3. Syndicate, mm. dude, I have no idea. You no seem clue, yeah, confident that's Three seems syndicate. huge, though. Syndicate. Three seems huge. So Syndicate's smaller, right? I don't know enough about Syndicate, so I'd guess Syndicate. It is Syndicate. Top 1. three 4. Assassin's Creed games ever made. 1.4 square miles for Syndicate. Oh, Syndicate. Versus 1.5. For Assassin's Creed. Oh my three. gosh. Wow. <laughs> oh my these are so close. Very close. God, I love Syndicate. I thought these would be so a bigger discrepancy much. here. So, so much. Um, Arkham Knight versus Assassin's Creed Unity. <laughs> I have no Whoa. idea. Arkham? I'll say Unity. I'll say Arkham. Uh, I'll say Arkham. It's Unity. King of the Vegas. Unity. Oh. Arkham Knights, 1.3 square miles. Unity is one. Uh -huh. Shenmue. <laughs> versus The Legend of Zelda. Just the Wait. original Zelda game? The original yes. Legend of Zelda. How do you compare oh. 2D maps, I guess? I guess you yeah, extrapolate mileage somehow. I guess Shenmue? Yeah, like Shenmue. Shenmue. Shenmue's tiny. pretty small. Yeah. Sprite-based map like versus Shenmue? Like Dorita in the docks. Shenmue? Yeah. It's, it's probably like, either the know. average height of a human or a tree, and they just kind of <laughs> extrapolate it. Really? I'll say Shenmue. Yeah, Shenmue. Guess Shenmue? It's Zelda. Yeah, wow. I think it's a dis bullshit. Shenmue is one square mile. Zelda is 0.8 square miles. Dang. And huh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to consider this a... Bonus, because I don't know how the crap you're gonna know this. Uh, Hyde Lied versus Courageous Perseus. I've never heard of those. Wait, games. What? I've, what? Perseus. What are those? You're saying words I don't even know. I've I've heard of Hyde Lied. I don't have a picture of it in my head. Yeah, I've not heard of the other game. What is it? Let's say Courageous Perseus. I'd say Courageous, yeah. It's Courageous Perseus. Yeah. Well, Hyde Lied is 0.4 square miles. Courageous Perseus is 0.1. Wow. Wait, I think I watched a speed run of Highlight on um, like Awful Block or something from GDQ. I'm pretty mm. sure I've seen that game. It's crazy. If it's if it's the game I'm thinking of, it's like kind of low poly, like psycho, like kind of EverQuest looking, like or Ultima looking. Hmm. From Eric Bruns. Hi, allies. Video game backlogs are inevitable. We just don't have enough time. I would like to hear about two great games that each ally has not played, but the general video game community might think that they should play. <laughs> I want one game from the one of those days category. So you're like, you're saying you're going to get to that sometime. You don't know when, but one of these days. And another from the sorry folks category. Mm. Not going to happen. Uh, 
they gave some examples. Uh, GTA Five. There's some they're going to play one of these days, and oh. uh, they said, "Sorry, folks, I don't think I'll ever really be able to play Breath of the Wild." Got it. All right, I got mine. All right. Should I go? Go for it. Yeah. Oh yeah, my someday is Lost Odyssey. Mm, nice. And my never gonna happen is Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh, never gonna happen. Okay, I'm out. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many people are telling you you should play that, but there you go. Some freak probably would. Oh <laughs> yeah, I don't know if people are telling me you should play. I, I don't know what people are. Oh, you people play. just tell me to play Trails games, and I'm like, I don't know if I'll ever not play those. Yeah, yeah I'm never playing those. <laughs> well, I was thinking Virtual yeah. Hide Lied, which is later. That's like Dreamcast. Ah, or okay, got it. Who's up next? Uh, one of these days I'll play Final Fantasy VI. Mm -hmm. Hopefully with Jones one day. One day. Heck yeah. Uh, I'm going through all the pixel remasters, Damn. so I just gotta Sick. gotta get there. Never Six happened. is a one day for Sorry, me folks. as well. Yeah, what are people bugging you about? It's never gonna happen. Uh, one Piece the anime. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 um, That's never happening. Stop asking. Good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Never gonna happen? It's hard for me to say never. I don't know. Come back to me. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? 14, Anyone else? You know, I got through Home Reborn and like I, I always want to play. But oh, and yeah. even Genshin. Genshin is like the number one game I want to play, but it also feels like I will never <laughs> play yeah. it. It kind of feels like that. Yeah. Even though I really want to. I yeah. It's, maybe, it's probably Genshin, unfortunately. Yeah. Huber last night because I've been homesick, you know, and I was like, March seventh, and I was like, I want to play a game, yeah, and I was like, maybe I'll download Honkai Star Rail, and I yeah. messaged Jason, my friend Jason Wishnap, and I was like, Yo, hey, would I like Honkai Star Rail? And he just replied, No. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I would want to play Genshin for sure. Yeah. Yeah, any game is a service at this point. You're like never going to play Animal no. Crossing, bitch. That's what, that's, that's the answer. True. That ship sailed. It's for long Huber. gone. <laughs> for Huber, yeah. That, sail, that ship is like it's on not, the other side of the not. world right now. That ship now. has it's not done. sailed. You're it's just crazy. Done. No, that game was a moment in time, and that time Tell is that over. Tell that to Scream who sends in beautiful photography Those are great. in game every single month. Because he has his town that was made during that moment in time. If you're making a new town, like, you're not making the a new town still now. still sells crazy every month. What are you talking about? No. Not yeah. It's me. just a, a mental thing. It's a mental thing. Not to he, help him. Yeah. Miss yeah, the moment. Uh, yeah, she. Miss, miss the moment. She, yes. Miss the moment, though, for me. Johnny, I need to say, did you have him? Sorry, go ahead, Debbie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Probably Final Fantasy IX for when I will, you know, will play at some point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And sorry, the any game is a service at this point. So any no game is a service. About. Yeah, like no beyond genres. Like, just, like I, I, I've made my, I made. Uh, sorry, like f off. Like I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV as my game is a service game. I don't care about any other game as service games. I don't care how good it is. He's made his choice. Mm -hmm. Like when fourteen dies someday, or it's like so bad, I will be probably too old and not care about game as a service games anymore. So yes. Yeah. Right, except dude. for the old. Uh, <laughs> except for the the odd uh, team up in uh, Fortnite, right, Damiani? Once in a while, <laughs> so like Fortnite drops. is like the weird one you can do like a one-off pop, yeah, pop in, yes. pop out. You feel like you do Perfect. something. Everything else Perfect. feels so damn overwhelmed. Like we're talking yeah, about like, like Genshin and Honkai. Like life. you log the login screens. Like what am I <laughs> looking at? Like every mobile <laughs> game. Like I, don't, like I don't like this screen. It's scary. It gives me anxiety. I hate this. <laughs> scary. <laughs> Isla, did you give yours? Huh? Oh. Huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I want to play six someday. Um, in game, I'm never going to play. I don't know everything like, yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't see myself playing everything either. <laughs> oh, blood. It's Very the funny. name of a game. Yep. 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 It is the name of a video I think you're game. You're thinking of everywhere. I definitely won't play everywhere. Probably. Uh, yeah, I would probably, yeah. I've played One of these days. That game is actually cute. 
One of these days, uh, get to Dragon Quest Eleven. <laughs> got it. Got to. Some, someday. Got to, blood. Got to. Just beat Tears of the Kingdom already, blood. Mm -hmm. Put the Draconic modifiers on Bloodworth. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you will never beat that game. <laughs> probably gonna say sorry, folks, for Days Gone. Days Gone. I yeah, love I could Days Gone. Blood skipping I could yeah, enjoy it. I know I would enjoy it. You're fine. Don't need to put it on my backlog list. Yeah. No, it's I got so many other things, yeah. It's long as hell. <laughs> but it's great. <laughs> Better now than it ever was. Good patches. 60 mm. frames and shit. Same as it ever was. <laughs> From Tundra Boy Wait, Muck. would you play the crazy taxi mode if I we did that. it up? We, we played did that it for together? Game Champions, remember? Okay, good. Good, good, good. I, I remember now, yes. <laughs> From Tundra Boy Muck. Hey there, allies. Uh, everybody's talking about 2023 being the best year for video games ever. But is this also the best year ever for DLC? Yes, it is now. Phantom Liberty <laughs> completed Cyberpunk's redemption arc. Future Redeemed was arguably, arguably better than the already great Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Separate Ways was incredible value for money, and we got a wonderful crossover with Return to Castlevania. We also had stuff like Burning Shores, an unexpected Sea of Thieves crossover with Monkey Island, the Rayman DLC for Mario and Rabbids, and the final few course oh, yeah. packs for Mario Kart 8. On top of all this, the Game Awards announced a free roguelike DLC for God of War Ragnarok, a shadow drop for the first Final Fantasy 16 expansion, and a crossover between Dave the Diver and Dredge. Let's not forget that we got that amazing DLC we got for Breath of the Wild this year. Just kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it took me a second. Yeah. But there, seriously, this year absolutely has to be the best year ever for DLC, right? I kind of count the epilogue for Baldur's Gate in there, too. Mm. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah dude. That uh, absolutely, rips. absolutely. Yeah. Just another oh, reason so why good. 2023 is truly the best year for video games. Yes. Yeah, really great. The God of DLC War mode could have been like 30 bucks. Probably. It is fucking insane. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Any other thoughts? A little surprised we didn't see the tra a trailer for the Elden Ring DLC. Yes. At Things cooking. Yeah. Anymore. Yeah. But let it yeah. cook. Yeah. Let it cook. It was weird that they compared it to the Bloodborne DLC, and I was like, that's... 10 out of 10, but like weird comparison. Yeah. Cause like, that's like, why is that a small. weird comparison? Just because it's kind of, like Elden Ring's but it was massive. Fucking sick. It's a 10 out of 10 Lady in Maria, quality. Dude. I'm not, I'm not, I'm only. I know what you're saying about size though. The I si I'm talking about the size and the scope and the scale. They're like, yeah, it's comparable to that. And I was like, so is it. I mean, did, were they saying that? Were they saying like, I don't that know. with regard to size or like with regard yeah. to like. Mood and content, like, and also, yeah, like, it weird, if it's yeah. a proportional size, that'll be huge. <laughs> like, true, <laughs> that to I get, yeah, yeah, yeah maybe that. Yeah, also, didn't they call. say it takes place in the past or some weird thing? I have no idea. Some dream maybe or it something. It's gonna be, ni it's gonna be nice it, to go every back. Every game, it's just like, where you're in the past or in a dream, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, or you're in some weird painting. That's it, painting yeah. of very end all. Said one. What? Painting of Ariandal. Fires very. Oh three. yeah, yeah. No, that's three. Great. Three. Fires very. Yeah, yeah, dude. Fucking sick. From Sekiro five oh five. Sekiro. Give us an update on how your Baldur's Gate three experience has been. Are y'all playing solo together with different people? What class are you? What do you think of the world, the characters, lore, etc.? I'm done. Mm -hmm. I finished yeah, it. Yeah. It was great. I had a really great time. My biggest complaint with the game was what they patched, which was the ending. Oh, yeah. Because my ending was just like, felt like very rushed. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? Then, but they, I guess, flushed everything out now, so yeah. that's good. Yeah, I got to get back to my streams. I got sidetracked with some reviews and shit at the time, and I had to do a couple in a row right there, and then, yeah, for holidays, I'll be back mm -hmm. streaming those. We should put the official overlay on our Twitch. It's really good if we're going to stream it nice. more. Oh, uh, nice. yeah, I was, uh, I loved it, loved it, loved it. I was a druid, a uh, wood elf druid. Um, God's favorite princess was my waifu, uh, and it was wonderful. 
And the epilogue nice. was perfect. And my playthrough was perfect, and everything was perfect. Best game ever <laughs> made. <laughs> I have not properly started uh, Baldur's Gate 3 yet, but it is downloaded to my Xbox. It is coming with me for the Christmas break. Nice. nice. So it'll be something I put some time in one way or another. Yeah, I heard sure. that Xbox version is kind of sketch right now. So be careful. Yeah, I saw some weird things with save files, but it looks like they're Getting fixing it already. Deleted, so yeah. I think... By the time I actually get to it, because I'm going to wrap up some other things first. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm hopefully. probably going to finish Zelda and Liza P first and then finish start Liza on P. That. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I keep bouncing off Liza P. I keep trying it and then I'm just like, ugh. Oh, yeah? I don't know what it is. I, I had I the opposite. I, I, I got pulled in more than I thought it would. I was like, oh, okay, I'll just play this for whatever. And then I was like, oh, this is cool. I'm going to keep going. Yeah, it's cool. Hmm. Damiani, did you start any Baldur's Gate? I have a new answer for that previous question. Sorry, never. <laughs> Baldur's oh, okay. <laughs> Why, Damiani? Because oh, hey, everyone has told game. me is great. I, I like it, it's like I, I I get it. It's great, but like I don't really have an interest in that type of game. And it's like okay, it, it's great. What do I? I don't. I feel like I have nothing to add to conversation. I'm like it's like like Animal Crossing. I missed it. It was so long, and I even missed that window. So like. <laughs> Everything False. is just like everything False. is like. It's still the same <laughs> year, Damiani. It's still the same year. <laughs> what year? There's so here. many games that came out this on, year. Like, her fifth playthrough. There are other. I, I mean, it's a person personal choice. I'd rather play other games than it. So that I still have not played this year, and like yeah. I already know no, so it's much like pretty stuff. much our. It's pretty much the goatee. So it's like I'm just whatever. Damiani, we're just talking about Octopath. We got freaking Pikmin. There's so much stuff. Mm. I mean, I will say. Hey, like, someone played Liza P, and I like have that on there. I'm like, I want to, I do want to play that. And I'm like, geez, I need, I want to play that. I literally just finished Final Fantasy V last night. It's like 20 nice. plus hours. It was like I never played it before, and I told myself I'm playing five. Such like mm -hmm. three and five. Five was such a big blind spot. I was like, I need. I, like, let me just, let me just do this. It can be short. Twenty something hours later, even with yeah, boost five on, I'm like, not short. It's like, why is this game so damn long? It's like, holy <laughs> so crap, I felt about this one, is too dude. long. One even took me like <laughs> ten plus hours. It was like, shit. Dude. Well, like three was so short. Three took like nine and a half hours to beat, and I was like, told how bad the or how dreadful the end of the game was. That's like, it like it's like the last dungeon is an hour alone, alone, like just by itself. And I was like. Mm, I don't think actually. I think if you have boost on, you're probably so over level that point you just breeze through it. I was like, okay, this you know, I probably didn't get that authentic experience at the end of Final Fantasy three, but it's whatever. I got the authentic Final Fantasy five experience. It's like, holy crap! Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, didn't didn't beat the super bosses. Holy shit, Omega! Some maximum cheese Omega bullshit. Tony, uh, should I and bread should I, and blood should I play the six pixel remaster or the SNES classic version? SNES classic version. That's hard for me. No, to play say pixel remaster. I don't remaster. know what the pixel remaster's done. Like, I've only played the Super NES version. Yeah. But I imagine that pixel remaster might have some quality of life stuff in there. Yeah, if you want to turn on but, battles or something, I guess. Or but it's such a like, legendarily revered yeah, game. I mean, it's like that authentic. Yeah, would, then just play that one. Play it sounds it. like you want to play yeah. that one. Well, I was yeah. just wondering if there is like a... I don't know. I haven't played six. There's not like a or... downside to playing that version other than just slow random battles and typical RPG stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, let's play a game! <laughs> Ooh. From Stomps. This game is called The Price is Relatively Correct. <laughs> Below are a list of video game items and their prices given a specific context. Economy. It's up to the panel to try and guess the price and the closest guess, high or low, wins. Okay. All right. So you may have to... Let's go. Try to remember what the currency even is. Let's go, let's go. Games. Here we go. Oblivion. A sweet roll bought from Selmo the Baker with zero speech craft. Uh, s f 10 gold. Five 50. gold, yeah. I, don't I have know. no idea. I'm trying to remember if the currency of. Yeah, I don't remember. I I'm just like assuming it's I don't gold. remember if it's gold, gold or not. I think it's called something else, but. Skyrim books. I'm going to say seven. Damiani got it. It's three gold. Three, three gold. gold. Damn it. Wind Waker. Wind Waker. 
swift sale from the auction house when gaming <laughs> the system to get the cheapest price. Oh, I don't know this. Uh, oh, it, like... 300 rupees. Oh, I don't know. Uh, cheapest price? Is, is it like... I want to say I want to say either 178 or 220. I don't know. I'm gonna go with well, which one? 178. 200. Yeah, I was gonna say that to <laughs> undercut him. <laughs> yeah, I'll say 220. <laughs> Brad, it's 201. Yeah, yeah. yeah thanks. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, 200. That was some straight up prices right tactics. Yeah, it was. Final Fantasy XIV. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hempen underpants bought from my Senta in Gradania. <laughs> what are we talking here, Damiani? What are you thinking? Oh. The, say them, Hempen? Um, they have to be, like, only, like, uh, uh, I, I mean, starter, <laughs> I, like, was that letting level Damiani of items, go first. Well, we can go it's first. Like, yeah, it, it ranges between 100 to like 1,000 gil. It's gil. I'll like say that, right? 400 gil. But what is your actual answer, Damien? Oh, I'll go with like uh, 152. And I don't know if Isla's She's there going. or not. Um, so, yeah, I think. Oh, Isla. She can't hear you. Can't hear us. How much are some pants in Final Fantasy XIV? Isla, Final Fantasy XIV. Hempen yeah. underpants bought from Mycenta and Gradania. 72. Gail. Oh, underpants? Oh, that's. Um, what the, is it, blood? That's literally the it. starter item for. 30, 39 oh, under- Gil. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a starter item. That's like the minimum price. And you don't, I don't even think you'd buy them. You can just get them from the recompense officer for like free. <laughs> Nerd this guy, dude. What a geek. <laughs> if it's the uh, the race, they're for specific races, though. I thought, if that's what I'm thinking of, maybe not. Poke- maybe I'm got the wrong item. Pokemon Red Next bicycle. Year. Oh, Pokemon Red. I don't Wait. even know what money is in Pokemon. Oh, you got there for Isn't free. It z- it's not Zenny or what is what is it called? Poke Bucks. <laughs> yeah, Poke Bucks. It's gotta be. What is the item oh, again? Sorry. Cheap. A bicycle in Pokemon Red. 45, 45. Uh, oh, 150. That's, yeah. thought it was like 200. I'll say one. Damiani is the closest. It is one million Poke Dollars. Wow. One oh, million poke- <laughs> it's really called Poke Dollars? <laughs> <laughs> What's the, the game exchange rate on Poke Dollars? <laughs> Yeah, I do wonder about that because I think you're right that like you just get one, but maybe if, if you want to buy, you buy a, different different room, a faster one, yeah. it is a faster one. I think it's I yeah, it's quite, yeah, it's locked out. You like you have to do something to get it, right? Oh, maybe that's why <laughs> they don't, don't want you to buy it early, so you they're can't like, buy yeah, it. T- so yeah, yeah. Uh, RuneScape three. Oh boy, <laughs> these are insane. A Santa hat. The street price circa 2023. December 5th at 10, 12 a.m. So I guess this fluctuates what? a lot. Uh, 100. 700 gold. 30 you know V-Bucks. I, I, was, I was looking up the bike thing, and it's actually a troll, because it costs 1 million, but you can only ever carry 9, 999,999 dollars. Oh. So you literally cannot buy it. Got it. Uh, sorry, what was this one? <laughs> it's RuneScape 3. It's oh, a I don't Santa know. Hat. 70. 70. What was yours again? 300, 300 or something? 100. So, yeah, I think, I think it's Brad then. It is 3.78 billion GP. Oh. <laughs> okay. The hell? We're a little off. <laughs> a little off. Also, I'm sensing a trend here. They seem to be getting higher. <laughs> um, Eve Online. Oh, my God. Okay. I actually maybe have Six a Six trillion. A Moloch in-game ship starting price. Ooh. Ten bill. Moloch? Ten bill. Oh, it's, it's been Six a while. Six trillion galactic credits. Yeah. 
Five, well, it's ISK is the currency. Five billion space bucks. ISK. Uh, I'll say 153,000 ISK. I'm probably Cuber. way off. It is a 500 billion. Billion, okay. Way off. <laughs> Jeez. ISK. Disgusting. Oh, I think that might be... Oh, yeah, okay. That's one of the, like, big ones. Dota 2. <laughs> Unusual Golden Baby Roshan Courier Skin from the official Dota 2 Marketplace. Dude, Dude this is quite <laughs> a lot, right? That is, like... 25,000 U.S. dollars. I'm going to uh, say 300 U.S. dollars. Yeah, um, 599 U.S. dollars. Um, $9.99, even though it's too low. If 599 is if 599 or $5.99? Mm -hmm. 500? $599.99. That's Damiani. Nice. Damn. 1800 dollars. <laughs> U.S. Dude. dollars. Cheaper than Counter-Strike skins. <laughs> Real life dollars. Gabe, dude. Gabe is just living it up. Mm -hmm. Here's this Cheaper Roshan than the ship skin. and Star Citizen. So wild. Last one. Tears of the Kingdom. I love Roshan. A sticky elixir that was made with one Frox Guts, one Gleok Guts, Din Rawl's Horn, a Hinox Toenail, and a sticky frog. With the critical cooking bonus sold to Beetle. Oh no, I don't. I have no idea. Uh, two hundred. How much rupees. Beetle will buy that for? I believe so. Yes. Two hundred rupees. I don't even think I found you could sell stuff to him. Ten rupees. It's gonna short. I'll say nine hundred and twelve rupees. Thirty rupees. Damiani, oh, it so is close. not. It's Brad, so actually. Okay. Yeah! 487 rupees. Get paid, Beetle. Get paid. He pays a fine, fine price. <laughs> How many did Brad say? 300. Two, you said oh. 200. 200? Yeah, 200? Yeah. yeah. All right. Fighting the nightmares, torch and a light switch, a gift or a curse. A reality made of oh, wars. Or wars. Or wars. Well done, Blood. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Wow. Sure. Champion of Light or Herald of Darkness? Herald of Darkness. Yeah. You have to say why. Yeah, you have to make an argument. Um, because, uh, I'm always, uh, I always play the good person in games. I always gravitate towards that. So I just feel feisty at this very second when you said it. <laughs> <laughs> so I chose it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who's next? Me. Mountain Dew or Doritos? Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, I'd rather have Mountain Dew, I guess, for the memes, and it'll actually give me a little caffeine energy that I would need. Doritos, I think I'll just feel terrible no matter what after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's at least one positive mm -hmm. to Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll go. Long or short? <laughs> short. Well, short no, long. Long. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Do you have a reason? Um, uh, well, because I'd rather live long than short, and I would rather... Nice. Um, when something is long, you have the choice whether or not to continue. Um, short and sweet mm -hmm. is a thing, but long and sweet, if you're enjoying it, the more the better, baby. Yeah. And you can always just stop either one, so... Hmm. Damiani. Mm -hmm. Silent or invisible? Hmm. <laughs> Tommy, I, Tommy, I'm going to steal this one. I'm going to steal this one, bro. I'm stealing it. I'm stealing it. Invisible so you can rob banks. <laughs> Wait, what? You're not coaching him. <laughs> no, that's you. not... I mean, I'm trying to think of, like anything like for silence that would be 
Silent Hill, useful. bitch. I mean, I'm thinking of a different concept. I'm thinking of it in, sorry, my frame of reference right now is like you have the power to be always yeah. silent or be always invisible. And I guess invisible would be nice for a lot of a lot of reasons. Um, where you silent, are. you're still seen. So like you can try and be, at least if you're heard when you're invisible, most people are still going to be disoriented and like what was like oh there's something here but I, they'll be like freaked out they'll ghost. be scared yeah like yeah you <laughs> still have the upper hand in like whatever thing you were trying to accomplish whether it's like get by undetected or whatever so think or just it, being silent is feels like you need more skill i don't know think of it think of it this way the invisible man good movie the quiet man bad game <laughs> <laughs> okay okay <laughs> um, I, I I think I'm giving that to Damiani, but I feel like Isla played a, a role in this. Yeah, Damiani helped. <laughs> two people. DQ. DQ. Took too long. Yeah, you almost cut him off. <laughs> uh, let me tell you about Patreon. Let me tell you about Patreon.com slash Easy Allies. Uh, that is how we're funded. That is how this show continues to happen. So thank you to everybody who pitches in throughout all of 2023. Everybody that's that's lent a hand uh, to keeping this show going and everything that we do running along. Uh, we have all these different ways that you can support us. Uh, you can sub on Twitch. You can give us a direct donation on Twitch in that little box down there or the link that's in the YouTube video. Uh, but the most effective way to support us is at patreon.com slash easy allies. And you get uh, all kinds of different rewards. At $5 a month, you get the Easy Allies podcast two days early. You get it ad free. You get bonus love and respect questions. You get to submit to love and respect for stuff like this, this crazy thing that we just went through, all of those wonderful submissions that everybody would have put in there. Thank you very much this week. You get in our Discord, uh, where you can vote on top tens and stuff that we'll read, where you can talk about sports, you can talk about games, you can talk about anime, all that good stuff. Uh, and then uh, our $25 and up uh, tiers are our producer tiers, people that really like just pitching in to make this keep going. Uh, our platinum producers get a shout out on this podcast each and every week. And this month's shout outs go to Jabawabs. Elthanis, Greg, the Dark Knight, Kettering, Jesse Blue, Raymond Wheeler, the Third. Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! Damiani, do you get to promote any Easy Allies video you would like to promote? You get the final word on anything you disagreed with, want to reiterate, or just pop it in your head, and you get to sign off with your trademark. Sign off. Uh, sure. Oh, dang! We had a lot of. Good like preview coverage go up in the last two days. Um, so this is I did, uh, too, but yeah, huh? Oh. Yeah, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, yeah. So uh, Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, uh, to sat down, talked with the Bloodworth. Um, so we had a nice preview video go up for that. Um, I also got to talk about it with Joey Ferris, like Game Explain as well. So I kind of like got double dipped on that, which was kind of fun to do both of those. Um, but you can check that out on our YouTube channel right now. Um, last final word. Um, you know what? Like, Baldur's Gate 3 is really, really good. I have nothing against it. So don't get mad at me if I don't play it, please. <laughs> uh, and uh, until next time, may the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. A reality made of... Oh!